Danny Green is sometimes the forgotten piece of this blockbuster Kawhi DeRozan deal. <laughs> He's a big piece. Uh, Green yeah, spent seven seasons in San Antonio with Leonard and seems to think there might be a long-term future in Toronto for Kawhi. Here's what Danny Green said about Leonard in regards to his stay with the Raptors. He says he's definitely more vocal than he's ever been. It looks like he feels comfortable. It looks like he feels at home. Ah. I mean, <clears throat> how much should we read into this? See, I, like, if he had just stopped at comfortable, <laughs> we'd be good. We'd be like, right. oh, well, quiet. You say at home now. Okay. Man, like, feeling at home, see that these are all loaded words, and these are things that I think going to end up hurting somebody's feelings oh, on yeah. the line. Yeah. And if Besides, it's, like, at home! Yeah! <laughs> but the worst part, it didn't even come from Kawhi. Right, it came, right, it came right. from somebody so you're else. speaking for him. Yeah, yeah. man, you can't, say, you can't say that. But, look, it's a long year. There's a lot can happen. He might end up leaving. He might end up loving it and staying. We don't know. We saw with Paul George in one situation. Right. We saw with Dwight Howard yeah. <laughs> coming to L.A. is a different situation. You never really know until the, we actually play the year out. Well, him coming out saying that he's more vocal, that's not a big stretch anyway. I mean, he, <laughs> and, 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 and Kawhi said 10 words the first thing, that's more vocal than he's well, been he the last two. And he now, laughed yes, at the press conference. We all know the laugh. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So that's more vocal right away right there. Yeah. But him feeling comfortable, he's on a basketball court. That's right. what he does. Yeah. Most guys that are great basketball players, they are most most comfortable when they're in their element, when they're on the basketball court. So that part I'm not I'm not really buying into. But like like Amid said, when he said at home, mm. we're in preseason. Yeah. Let's let's play a few games first. Let's yeah. see if they go through a you know losing three straight games, and then let's see how comfortable and how everything is going then. Byron, let me ask you this about being more vocal or whatnot. As you pointed out, it could have just been ten words. But how much of that is? He's used to being in the Spurs organization where it's Pop's way, right? Right, right? Where now this feels like you have his team for the first time. Nick Nurse is a rookie head coach where he can be more vocal. He can feel like he's empowered some in this organization as opposed to San Antonio. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see that being being the whole you know situation with Kawhi. Uh, when you're in San Antonio, we know Pop is the man. Right. And his word is bomb. Whatever he says goes. You know, so you're not going to have a whole lot of say, you know, in, in that in that uh, situation. But in Toronto, he is the man. Everybody knows that. Everybody's going to bend over backwards because they want him to stay and re-sign with this organization. And they're going to treat him with, with respect, uh, uh, you know, from day one till the end of the season. So I think he's going to have his way a little bit as far as he can say some certain things that he probably wouldn't say in San Antonio. And the fact that he's probably a little bit more mature and a little bit more... Um, yeah, you know, feel a little bit more in his own skin yeah. that he can say things. Right. I think he will be a little bit more, you know, that's, vocal in, see, in Toronto. That's the angle I, I was thinking. It's not so much, oh, Pop will let me say anything. Is that he's growing. Yeah. He's growing as a player, and he's finding his voice and understanding, by the way, especially when you think about what happened last year. Regardless of whose fault it was, he wasn't very communicative, right? Right. right. And so maybe he learned from this experience, I got to do more as a leader to speak up and be a leader for the guys in that locker room. And I think, I mean, that's just growth as you right. learn from your experiences and, and you're put in a different situation, you handle things differently.